it's on the other side there, is it? Yep. Surface. We got sharks out there and dolphins out there right now. Ah! We found our ring. Oh my god, he's like a god to us. We just got an emergency call out. There has been a rock fisherman. He's just fallen off the rocks. When he's fallen in, he's come back out. He's scrambled back up onto the rocks. It's a one hour drive and it's another five kilometer walk out to that location. What gear that we should actually be taking today? I'll be taking my XP Days 2. I don't want to be too heavily weighted. I'm going to take my chest weights. You need some sort of weight system to hold me down in the water. We've got new ones, actually. We'll take these. It's a fishing spot, so I'm going to take my knife. Mask and snorkel, we'll take that as well. I'm not going to take the 8mm, that's way too thick. Definitely a 3mm today. Head Vino. No detector. Let's gear up and get out there. Yeah. I'll be back in a few hours. weather conditions are not in our favor they had to drive out of location to reach me on the phone no phone reception down on location so i just don't know what to expect when we're going in on this one i'm not taking any dive equipment it's only going to be a free dive if it's possible i'll get in there if it isn't i'm gonna have to turn this down i do some sketchy work from time to time that i don't really show you guys just for the simple fact that it's uh it's sketchy i don't show these things just for that reason i've got another turtle it's just about to hit the road You can see, when he goes down the gutter, he's just not coming out. He's a male. He's happy and healthy, big male. We definitely don't want him getting hurt, so we're just going to quickly run him back over to the pond. Alright, bud. Oh, Fight the council if you can, guys. Oh, big spider web. A fence line, 100 metre stretch down the road. We'd actually have no more turtle fatalities on this road. Get back in the car. <laughs> Stefano? Boy. I'm filming for YouTube, is that alright? So easy. Too easy. Uh, which one's Stefano? You? Stefano. Alright, too easy. And and Max? Thomas or Thomas. Thomas. And Thomas. Alright, too easy. How are you actually? You I'm got hurt? I'm saving my marriage. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Is your wife upset? Is she? Yeah, a, little a little bit. bit. <laughs> a little bit. But more importantly, though, are you hurt? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Otherwise, I heard that you fell off the rocks. I just hope you don't need hospital assistance yeah. or anything like that. You go straight ahead. I'll follow you okay. down location. I packed a light, still heavy enough to keep me uh, underneath the water. Okay. Uh, for the dive. You guys don't need to carry anything. I'll oh, carry everything. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. no, too easy. Much, All right, guys. Yeah, I'll see you down there. All right, guys, get back out there. I didn't imagine I was going to wake up today and do basically a 10k walk to all the guys doing military training. Full respect to you guys. Stefano's in the car in front of us. Are you sure you don't want to give me a house? Nah, nah. A weight, so the nah, that's all good. It evens me out. A couple of puddles to get through. <laughs> Where is it from here? After that cliff. The last one, yeah. It's alright, we'll get there. Watch your step. That's gnarly. There we got dolphins out there, guys. Yeah, I've never been down this location before, eh? Right? <laughs> I am dripping in sweat. Remind me next time for a 5k walk. Don't wear a bloody wetsuit. <laughs> There is a massive school of salmon out there and where you've lost your ring it's kind of just before that school of salmon isn't it? Yeah. We could actually see seals, uh, there might even be sharks swimming through here. Uh, I'm just hoping that you know the great whites aren't out, they do frequent these beaches. Tiger sharks as well. It's on the other side there is it? Yep. Alright no worries. Yeah. That's a massive school of salmon, black patch just out there, that's all salmon. More sand sinkers. Oh, shit. That was all underwater. Okay, good. Because I'm hoping when you scrambled up these rocks, I'm hoping the ring fell off. Up there. Yeah, watch out for those waves. I stepped there. This spike was all uh, covered from water. Uh, I was yeah, it was up high, yeah. So we got the uh, we got the super low tide, so that's why we teamed it up for today. Uh, the surf conditions, yeah, it's not too rough. Right, 
you can see that's just coming up at 82. 83. But it could be a sinker. Okay. Uh, yeah, pass me that. And just keep an eye on that, sir, and just tell me if something comes. Actually. I'll give you that. Yeah, for now. Four kilometers for this. What the fuck? Oh, well, man. <laughs> Before a bloody shark gets me, eh? Woo! Oh. Oh, <laughs> we got it, guys. Oh, that was a track. I was just getting here as well, and then surf conditions coming back in. Zero expectation. Oh, I got out there, and you're just like, oh, yeah, it could be out there. We've got sharks and dolphins and a school of fish there. <laughs> I'll hop in there. You were very lucky there, man. Seriously, because that was a deep crevice that you fell in. Yeah. And we're five kilometers away from any helicopter rail. Well, basically from any reception or anything like that. Yeah. That was an oh awesome result. God. Oh my. <laughs> Dear. Oh man, thank you. Oh, no oh worries. Oh. I can't believe. Oh. I can't believe. More than likely, where you fall and in straight away, you put your hand straight down to the kelp to correct yourself. And what's happened? Basically, getting caught up in that kelp. Your ring's gone and flung off. But yeah, as soon as I got that signal, I was just like, yes. It didn't move all night long. And no, it didn't move. But have a look at it. It is very protected in there. A lot of surf will come in during the high tide or suck through there. Who'd that actually belong to? My, my father, who passed away to see him. And we got married two weeks ago and my, we decided together, my brother and me, that I uh, could use it. Barbara, my mother's name, and when yeah, they okay. get married. In the 89. Don't believe this. Oh no, you're welcome, it's mate. Okay, that is uh that was a mission. Uh, and uh, I'm this gonna come back here. Night, of course. This yeah, I'm definitely coming back here. The, the amount of wildlife that we've got here, like there's sharks and dolphins just out there now feeding on that uh, school. There's no that. seals just yet, uh, but I'm sure the seals will probably come in later on anyway. We're getting attacked by mosquitoes. Check out the size of these things. It's a massive walk ahead of us. We're losing daylight now. Let's gear up and get back out. I don't do many recoveries where I'm getting into a location that this hard to get into. I don't know what to do with my missus if I have to tell you to stay away from The very low tides at the moment. Yeah. Ah, that's a good yes. question. Should what do you I reckon, guys? What should Stefano do? Maybe make a surprise out of it because no one expected this. There's a log drop down there. Whew. Ouch. Should have worn socks. Woo! <laughs> ah, what a result. No one in their whole family thought that we we're going to find that today. They were devastated last night. His wife wasn't sleeping well. They've only been married for two weeks now. I can understand the stress that they're going through. I can understand where they're coming from. I've just been married for 10 years now, just last month. Like we've had our ups and downs. That's marriage for you. That's marriage for everyone. At the end of the day, as long as we come out stronger from it, what I always tell owners is basically it's a piece of metal. I know it's been in the family, especially this one for a very long time. A piece of metal should never get in between you and your partner at the end of the day we have our health we have our family we have our loved ones that's what really matters we should be very thankful for that i'm a fan of the channel <laughs> are you guys going out there okay you just got to be careful because if you're losing out on daylight hours have you got flashlights or anything like that it's a very muddy area it's gonna get a little bit dangerous I read it on the map that the balconies are not too far away we just went to bondi beach last week bondi beach so, over the beaches just getting down to Kuji beach now he just lost his ring two days ago gold very sentimental they've just lost it on the beach and i just asked him you know is it in the water on the land he said oh on the dry sand i said okay perfect uh let me know the location i'll go down there if it's there guys we will find it sounds good well we have dug gold on that before let's dig it we just going to vibration mode and getting a tingle oh, beauty Should surface Oh. <laughs> Woo! oh yeah 
Show me the cheddar. Now the owners just sent me over an image of the ring. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Woo! We got it. Oh, no way. I'm seeing a, a marking on there. I'm not too sure on the carrot of gold of this. 916. Or am I looking at it backwards? Leave a comment down below if you know what 916 is. But we'll get back to the car now. We'll give him the good news. He did tell me he lost in between those two signs and they rarely move. He went up to the police station. The police do not do these services uh, for the public, but that's what we are out here for. So just remember, guys, ljrworldwide.com. If you lose it, we've got metal detecting specialists throughout the world ready to help you guys. Let's get back to the car. Give him good news. He's gonna be stoked. <laughs> There's the two post signs that you're seeing down the beach. So it's Sunday 11 a.m. You can see it was just packed down the beach. It's not the clearest picture, but you can definitely see the markings there. This is the owner's ring. We've got confirmation of that. I never hand over property to anyone that cannot give confirmation proof of ownership of that ring. Plain and simple, I'm not going to give anyone back property that doesn't belong to them. Video, let's see if we can get him on video, FaceTime. G'day mate, how you going? Good. I'm down at Coogee Beach now. Yeah. And I've come across something. Can you show me please? Oh, yeah. Is that your ring? Thank you so much. Respect, you are most Respect. welcome. Respect. You put me in the right location. That's what it came down to. Bro, thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. You are most welcome. My girlfriend gifted me. Turn the camera. Yeah. Hello. Thank you, bro. Thank you from depth of my heart. No worries, mate. Drive safe. I'll see you soon. Thank you. See you soon. Hey yeah, guys, Nick and Jahad. Is that your ring, mate? Yeah, yes. it, that's the one, bro. Wow, Beauty. I just can't believe you forgot <laughs> it. Thanks to you, mate. What's your name? Gervit. Gervit, that was a pleasure meeting you. You're yeah. actually a fan of the YouTube channel. You're welcome. I literally appreciate that. We literally lost our yeah. all yeah. Forbes. Huge what shout out to this guy, Michael. Yeah. He's like a legend. <laughs> just a little present no way. From, uh, from, from my side to you. Yeah, oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't normally dabble in the alcohol, but special occasions, uh, we'll yeah, actually yeah, save 100%. that for. So 916, is it's that? 22 carat. 22 carat. Indian gold. Nice to meet you. Cheers. Thank you so much, bro. No worries, and mate. One more thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> do, do you want to join us for dinner? I've got two more recoveries tonight to do. So I'm flat out and I've got video editing as well. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. We found our ring. Oh my God. He's like a God to us. Thank you so much. Thank you, bro. Welcome. Here at LJR Worldwide, we're out there finding and reuniting lost properties that are rightful owners. And 90% of what we actually do out there is trash removal. And guys, we wouldn't be here without your support. So to all our viewers, Patreon has really helped us to get out there and basically get what needs to be done. Without the financial support, we would not be here today. With the financial support, that's what actually created LGR Worldwide. And now we're here for the long term, guys. We're gonna be helping thousands of people for many generations to come. Tons of trash is gonna be removed out of our parks, out of our oceans and waterways. Thank <laughs> you.